So, the moment you've all been waiting for, the announcement of the poster prize winner. Um, before I announce the poster winners, um, let me explain a little bit of how we reached our decision, which is an uh, elaborate and, in fact, impossible process when you have to look at over 300 posters, if I'm not mistaken. So um, the procedure is as follows. There's a committee of 10 members, and you, they are listed here, young researchers that each, in a particular theme, look at the posters in that theme and select two posters uh, for further consideration by the jury. The jury this year consisted out of Peter Steineken, Elisabeth van Hauf, and Laura Filion, and myself. And uh, since we have 10 themes, we received 20 posters. Those 20 posters were then looked at again by the jury and then we debated for hours <laughs> on the best three posters. Now, before I actually will move on and show you the three best posters, let me first uh, also add that we couldn't have done this job without the uh, amazing support of Marjolein Robijn and Hans Heckenberg, who I asked to put on a, on a slide, but they resisted. <laughs> so let me ask uh, for a round of applause for the committee members, the jury, and Marjolein and Hans. So, the three best posters, and one of them can only be a winner, but let me first introduce the three posters that are nominated. The first one is Dipole Helicity Directs Photons on Chip by Boris Lefebvre. The committee and the jury had a couple of comments. Uh, outstanding explanation, eye standing, but no information overload. Clear introduction and discussion, clear pictures, good approach of audience. Uh, I should have mentioned, I guess, that there are four categories that we look at, that we judge the posters by, and one of them is actually the presentation by the author of the poster. Lively presentation was one of the comments made uh, by the committee here. So that's the first nominee. Let's move on to the second. The second nominee is Jolijn Onfle with cold and controlled molecular collisions. Um, the committee thought that it uh, had a clear use of theory and experiment, original idea. Um, the explanation of the research and results was very clear. Uh, very good indications of implications and future research. Good graphs, very calm and clear story. So let's move on to the third nominee. Third nominee, Carlo van Overbeek, title Colloidal Nanocrystals Form 2D Monocrystalline Superlattices by Oriented Attachment Through Intermediate Phases. That's a long title. Remarks, interesting physics explained by help of props, little models that you could actually touch. Clear and good use of colors, interesting talk. The jury just thought that this was very good. <laughs> no, no. So, scientifically, very strong work, well explained. So those are the three nominees, and now we reach an exciting moment, because actually one of the rules of the poster prize is that the author of the poster, of the winner, should, this should be present. If not, we move on to the second. And if the second author is not here, we move on to the third. 
So let's build up some tension. <laughs> the winner are the, actually I should also uh, mention that uh, surprisingly the jury was unanimous on what they thought was the best poster. So a little drum ruffle. Let's see if we can actually go and announce the poster prize winner, Jolijn Onflay. Um, and now my final uh, job is to uh, hand over the mic to uh, Nienke Decker for concluding remarks. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to close off and I uh, will try not to keep you uh, too long because uh, all of you probably also want to travel home. So it's been a very uh, exciting conference uh, as usual. Uh, I think it's been great to see all the discussions and interactions that have taken place. Um, I also hope that uh, in particular the, the younger scientists, the, the PhD students and, and postdocs have uh, made clear to all of you their, their great scientific talent and that it's been exposed to a, a wide audience. Uh, and I want to thank all of you for cheering so loudly for FOM during the Tuesday dinner when Dave Blanc uh, made a movie of all of you. And uh, those of us who are on the board will, uh, will, will keep that in mind when we navigate the science politics discussions over the coming few months. Thank you very much. Uh, um, and then I also have some, some other people that uh, I want to thank. Uh, so, of course, uh, the, this uh, conference is not possible without some uh, organizational uh, input, input. And first, I want to thank the, the program committee that uh, select all the posters and all the talks, uh, which is also always uh, quite a bit uh, of work and a difficult task. So let's give them a hand to start with. Uh, And then, as you can probably appreciate, um, handling 2,000 physicists for approximately 48 hours is also a particular challenge of its own. Uh, and for this, uh, we should thank both the uh, Koningshof for, for hosting us, of course, and feeding us, and et cetera, and also the, the FOM Bureau, right, of which I think almost all of its members are, are here, uh, right, for Veldhoven. Um, but in particular, I want to thank Paula van Tijn, Sandra de Keizer, and Martina van Hardewijk, who were really responsible for most of the organization. Let's also give them a hand. Uh, and then I just close with some practical matters. We have, uh, of course, a conference next year. No matter what happens, uh, Veldhoven will still continue. So you can mark your calendars with uh, 19, the 19th and 20th of January 2016. The deadline for abstracts is the 11th of September, 2015. And uh, you, when you leave the building today, um, you will get a little tag or piece of paper which also will remind you of these dates. Uh, and then uh, you, can take, you can leave your badges, you can hand them in so it can be recycled also at the exit of the Koningshof. Uh, and uh, the buses will leave in well, in theory, in two minutes, but probably in a few more. Otherwise, there'd be a massive problem at the exit. And I want to thank you all again, and I look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks. <laughs>